And I'm Jamie. And you want to know how much the Philippines is going to cost you? So make sure you go and grab a piece of pen and paper right now because we're going to tell you how much we spent in Sikihor. Welcome to Fun Spider. Yeah. Right guys, so you got your pen and paper ready, let's start jotting down some stuff. First step, how to get to Siki Hort from Cebu. So you go down to the south of Cebu and you go to this port here. Pating. Yeah, and then you grab the Mayo shipping ship, which takes a couple of hours and it drops you off in this port here in Siki Hort. Pating. Lorena Port. Okay, so, that and that all cost us this much. Pating. Oh yeah, this much. Oh, sorry. This much, it cost us this much. Anyway, guys, <coughs> now you're in Sikiyo. Right. Right. So, obviously, guys, accommodation everywhere is very sparse, uh, sparsely, you know, everywhere. <laughs> sparsely everywhere. Uh, so, <laughs> but we stayed in a homestay called James Homestay, which is just in a Sikiyo town. So, our tricycle from the Arena Port to Sikiyo cost what? us this much, right? And it should not cost you any more. No. They're gonna, you know, obviously they have a fixed price, and if they go over that fixed price, you can get them in trouble. You so they have trouble, to stick yeah. to this price yeah, that they're given. Yeah, but then if you stay in San Juan, where most of the people stay in San Juan, down Palatine Beach, down this area, I don't know why I'm doing this, you can't see the map, but ding! <laughs> down on the south bit, down here, like here, and, and here, that only should cost you like 350 no more, so please do not pay any more than that, okay? So, as I said, for accommodation, guys, we stayed in a James homestay. Which cost us... It cost us this much a night, guys. Check this out. How cheap is this, huh? So that was for a double room, double fan. bed, a fan. A, it, honestly, it was just massive. It was bigger than this room that it we're in really now. Really nice. And the family there, guys. The family are just incredible. So please make sure you even check it out for one night. Honestly, it was well worth it. Their, their motorbikes are brand new, which we'll get to in a minute. That'll come up to activities. Their motorbikes were brand new, and on Christmas Day they even took us to our next door neighbours, and we had basically. This great pork, this yeah. massive pork that they've been roasting all pig, pig, all day, and it was beautiful. Um, they had loads of different meats there as well, and some really good food. Yeah, so we highly recommend. James and then we had some drinks with them afterwards. Yeah, James Homestay. So right, guys. So now you're in. Now you're in Secure. You found an accommodation. Now you want to know stuff to do, right? So. There's so much stuff to do in Sikiyo, so guys. So much. Like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, nine. There's ten things that we haven't we done, but there's still a lot more. So these are the activities we done. Are and you ready? Prices. Okay, here we go. All right, activities. Lugnansen Falls, right? Ding. Ding. Right, guys. It used to look like this. It doesn't look like that anymore. But there is a really cool spring around we'll the corner. We'll show you the dried out picture. Too. Yeah, the dried out picture now. <laughs> but then yeah. So if you could just go around the corner, there's a natural spring. If you if you check this vlog here, this is our Christmas day. This is where most most of the stuff that we've done on Christmas day was in this vlog here. So we've done Lagnas and Falls. That is free. Then we've done Lagan Falls, which, which is pating. Yeah, that was and that also cost us 80p each. Then Kambaga High Falls, which is the the most renowned uh, waterfall in Siki Horse, the free stage crystal blue clear water. Um, nice that's place. also in this vlog, so keep watching this vlog if you want to see that. That was only 30p each, and that was incredible. And then we've done the snorkeling at the Two Board Marine Sanctuary. That that, that was a big uh, spendy, that was like £3. But you, we bought... Um, they, that included goggles. fins, masks, snorkel... And it was a really good place feed. to go Honestly, snorkeling. Honestly, the reefs and stuff out there are crazy beautiful. Honestly, loads of fish, big drop-offs. But the... We'll, we'll, we'll yeah, we're trying to put in a little clip here as, as we're over speaking about it, so definitely make sure you go and check that out. And then the next activity you done was Canterbon Caves. Now this was very surprising for me because I'd heard about it and I was like, oh, what do you want to do a bit of caving for? And Alice was like, come on, let's go and do it. And I was like... I love caving. Yeah, I was like, all right, cool. And they, this one cost us £4.50 each. That's why I was like, oh, that's a bit spend, spendy as well for, you know, for two. But with that, you get two guides, two helmets, two torches, and you literally... Check this out, right? We are now underground in a cave with look all these honestly these it was views. Beautiful, like, right? They were yeah. like some really nice 
that white formations. rock made into formation. Well, yeah. they didn't make it formation. The rock made its own formation. Yeah, and we were literally, yeah, we were the only ones in there for ages. Yeah. And it was the best. We came out, it was night time, and it was really, really good, right? So now we've done Canabongues. The next one is Saladong Beach. Which is the jump. Which is the cliff jumps, but guys. Which look, we have here, a... Check here, the vlog here, honestly. Whew. 12 meter cliff jump and a 5 meter cliff it's jump. It's normally less than that, but because the tide, the tide was lower, so low. it made it very it big. So high and Jamie I jumped did off. it. I jumped, <gasps> I jumped off it now. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's crazy. So, Salandong Beach is only 60p, so go and have a really good day at Salandong Beach. Really beautiful beach as well. 60p. Honestly, check the blog out and it'll tell you everything you need to know as well. Um, and then the 500 year old tree and a little fish foot spa that only cost us 15p each, right? So, as you can see, the activities are really, really cheap, guys. So, definitely go and check them out. And this is how much all of that cost us. Yeah, all Yay! activities for the for the whole couple of days we were there. What is much? Yes. Right. So now, so now you've done activities, but you want to eat some food. And we know that everyone loves food, right? And the food recommendations that we ate, we ate a few places, but these are the ones that we can firmly say are decent. Yeah. So the first place is Monkey Business. It's a it's a very nice place. It's a little bit pricey, but you get some very good food in there. Yeah. So an average meal for two of us costs this much. And they have very good vegetarian food. Vegetarian food, and also there's live band every night at seven o'clock. So that's where everyone goes pretty much in Siki Hall to have a few beers, meet people after they've gone to Palatine Beach to go to here. Wee. And also there's a hostel there, so you can stay there. But I don't know how much it is. Uh, and then Dolce Amor, which is a really nice like Italian place. Really nice. We, really we nice shared pizza. a really a We got pizza. a massive pizza. Yeah. And that was this much for a meal with drinks and everything. Ding! Right, guys. So, and then there's a place called Luca Loco. That was the, all, the awesome vegetarian place. Yes, as well. we had a lot of vegetarian food there because yeah. I don't eat a lot, more, a lot of meat anymore, so I'm trying to be vegetarian. Jamie yeah. still eats meat. Every now and again. But. Every now and again, but I'm trying to cut it out. It's very hard. <laughs> uh, yeah, then that was this much for two meals. Ding! And then Marco Polo is another Italian restaurant. And we had a pizza, obviously, same again, but it's really nice. So I think that, you can see the train going. You can see the train going. And it, this was this much. Wow. That much for two people. And there's this really cool place called Siki Ho. Right, Which is we, great for breakfast, lunch, dinner, yeah. everything. And literally, the kit, it's an open plan kitchen, and you sit around the kitchen. You can see them cooking all your meals, and that was that was that was the cheapest place we went to. It was like uh, six pounds for two people. That's this much. Six pounds. Six pounds. Yeah, for two people. And then finally, we went to a place called Baha Bar. Like, we weren't too impressed. Like, we weren't too impressed, but like, literally. Everyone goes there, it's so random, like you have to take your trainers off to go and sit upstairs, which is kind, was, of, was, kind of cool. It was nice, but the fact that every time we tried to order something, it wasn't on the menu, so yeah, we ended up getting something that we that. don't yeah. really want. Yeah, we didn't. So, so maybe that. you might have a better time yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the total for the food for how many days were we again? Six. For six nights, basically six days worth of food cost us this much. Don't forget, guys. We love a snack, so that some snacks are included in that, like chocolate bars and, and popcorn for the movie nights and stuff like that. Yeah, which we're trying to cut out, yeah, but it's a bit hard. But <laughs> trying to slim down. I'm going to slim down. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. So, now we've given you activities, food places, arrival. Now, how are you going to get around secure? Obviously, you're going to you're gonna hire a moped, guys. So, we hired one from James Homestay for the six days. Yeah. And that was only £4.50 a day, yeah, in pesos this year. Bing! £4.50 a day. Very good bike. Yeah, it's honestly a brand new bike. It was, it was quality. It's the best way to get around anywhere. So yeah. if you if you, <coughs> if you you want to hire a moped, go and get your moped licence. Even better. Yeah, go get your moped licence. <laughs> or don't get it. But make sure you get it. If um, you learn to ride a motorbike before you come away, it makes it a lot easier. Yeah, and another quick tip. Don't forget your international driver's mm. permit. Go to the post office in England or wherever you are, well for England anyway, go to international driver's permit from the post office, they cost a fiver and literally you can drive any country, there's three to get, I got them all so I'm covered everywhere in the world. Whereas I don't have them but I don't drive. Yeah, Alice doesn't drive, bless her. But so, so it was £22.50 for the six days and we put £6 worth of fuel in because we went literally everywhere. Right. We, we drove every night to get food, 
We drove all the way around the island to, and we even just drove and just looked around. Yeah. Sticky hoi where I got stung twice by Kiki. <laughs> Sticky hoi got. Uh, watch here in the vlogs. Just watch this little bit. <laughs> in, they're there in the vlog. Right, guys, so we went through food, activities, accommodation, how to get around. And how to get back to the port as well, obviously it's going to cost you the same in a tricycle, three to four hundred pesos, do not pay any more. Right, uh, miscellaneous stuff guys, now this is, obviously you're not going to buy this, but if you want some sunglasses, you can go to the big hypermarket there, the Prince hypermarket down by the port, and it's got two new pairs of sunglasses I for, free, breaking for three quid, one pound fifty each. And, yeah. they're, and they're really cool. Where are they? They're, they're in my bag. Oh, they're in the bag. We won't get them out. They're I'll like really away. shiny Ray-Bans. But if you watch the vlog here, ding, you'll see them. <coughs> Anyways, and obviously it was Christmas there, so we brought two Christmas hats for 50p. For 50p? For two, How can you go For wrong? two Christmas hats, and they light up. Oh, mine's packed away. They're but packed away. all here, it lights up. But if you watch the Christmas vlog here, you'll see them lighting up. <laughs> and then we did a three kilogram worth of washing. Yeah, and that only cost us three pounds. So it was like one pound a kilo. And that was Joel and um, Joel, uh, washed, folded, dried, dried them folded, and, and ironed. And ironed. It smells absolutely beautiful. And that's down by the Siki Hall port. So if you're going down to the Siki port, port, I'll put it on here now. Ding! The maps app just there. I'll find it for you. It's all linked down below. So honestly, really good guys. Same day, you drop it at four in the morning. You pick it back up in the afternoon. And that was it, really. Basically, so we are. About to tell you how much we spend in six days. Six days, every activity. So, guys, are you ready? Drum roll, please, Ellie. I can't do a drum roll. Are you ready, guys? Right, guys, six days cost us this much. Whoa, that's crazy. That is almost 1,000 pesos per day each. Yeah, that is crazy. So, 18 pounds a day each. 18 pounds. Oh my god, that's five pound for five or six pound for food, five or six pound for accommodation, five or six pound for activities, snacks, and stuff like that. So guys, we hope this helps you. Uh, there's gonna be bl plenty more fun Fridays everywhere we go. So Siki Hall, Behold's next, Kami Gurin's next after that, and then, ooh, and then. Shargao after that. We didn't do any Fun's Friday for Cebu because we're going to get back there at the end of our trip yeah. and we're going to do more activities. So, so we're going to be we're, with my parents. Yeah, we're going to be with Alice's parents so we'll just mash it all together and do a Cebu Fun's when we go back there. So thank you all for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit 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 the subscribe button. I can't remember where it is. Or the like down button. There, <laughs> down there. Ding the bell on so you don't miss a Fun's Friday or the two vlogs that we do every Wednesday and Sunday. Don't forget, we love you all. We love you all. And we'll, and we'll see, see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.